we got ourselves team one together with Athel, oh man. On that team, we got ourselves Darling, which is holy moly on a mage. Popping off, and I think already got Gladiator on the mage too, which is kind of nutty. We got Arky over here. We got ourselves Gloosh as well as FC over as... Why was it? Wait, why are we sending a Gloosh again? Does that guy just winning all the rolls? No way. Hilza over on the team one. We got ourselves Katya. We got ourselves Rus, uh, Ru Self, Rus. We got Sajira as well as Treti. Just, I guess the name would be third. Better call him Treti. We call him Treddy. <laughs> got ourselves Gloosh first up versus Hills. Hills are just kinda bouncing back and forth, just waiting for this rogue to open. Should be aware the rogue is going in with some Shadow Blades. Getting the shot does that get the Hills to react. Shadow Blades could potentially be a response. Huge damage on the Hills. Just goes for a cheap shot. Hills are just keeping himself alive and just keeping himself calm and collected. Got him some full defenses up though. With a battle master trick out in the opener. Lexi put a Gloosh. Trying to see if he can turn around onto the rogue. The rogue does go for a trick in with a vanish. And Hills at least gets a trinket out of the rogue. And Hills are still holding on to their trinket. Sab by the rogue before Hills can get himself full recovery. That was four brew as well as a karma immediately. Hills barely lived that dude. He was like, you know what? I'm an orc. I'm probably not gonna sit stuns long enough. If I was any other race in the game, I probably would be pretty dead. Wait, are you an orc? You are an orc. Okay, for some reason I looked at you. I'm like, is that an orc? Hold on a second. It looked more like. I was gonna say blood elf for a second there. Blinded low health after you trinket it. Wait, I think it could be really bad for Hills to sub. Sap? Oh, it's sap so low. I think the rogue just has it, dude. Dude, this is rogues, man. How do you beat that? How do you defeat it? I saw Katya just dismount, by the way. He's ready, dude. He's ready to go, dude. He's just dropping all the bursts. He's ready to charge the rogue as soon as Hills goes down. And the rogue, right as it happens, backs up out of the. He knew that the boys over on Team 2 were going to charge out. Roos is going to be up next. Roos Elf? Roos Elf. It's almost like, I think it's supposed to be like Roos, being almost like Russian. So I guess it's like Russian Elf is the name. Roos Elf? We'll call him Roos. Almost like Bruce, but without the B. It's going to open up with a Shadow Strike. Immediate blessing of protection by the Paladin. Gives him to a Hodge versus Gloosh. Got himself the big hammer. Looking for the Prox with wings. That's going to be Gloosh with a Trinket and a Vanish Shadow just to get himself a reset. With Roos going in for a blessing of protection that early, I wonder if that's just part of the plan. Like, yeah, I'm just going to immune. Just so I can have a bubble later. Going to be that interrupt onto the flesh crap. Roos getting in with a kidney shot. Trink inside of it. As Gloosh taking lots of damage. Mind you, Nicole Kashadas is as well. Evasion might not be enough. As Roos got himself wings as well as Shield of Vengeance. Was that just a proc of wings or was it just a second wings? Or was that the wings just from the start? I think that was just the same set of wings from before. Gloosh runs by and just hits him with a little sap. Bubble still available for the Paladin. No more Trinket. And the Rogue has Cloak of Shadows. No Trinket. Really, it's going to come down. Who's going to get a stun first? And I think the Rogue should be able to get a stun opener every single time. Gave himself just a little bit of opportunity to get stunned. It's going to be a ruse with a blind, with a stun onto Glitch while he's bubbled. Trying to go for the big proc. Does he get the big proc? He is getting the damage out of the Necrolord. Free Divine Storms, but it's not grinning. It's not doing enough. Quick disarm to the Paladin. Unable to generate some of that Holy Power. Quick first aid by Gloosh as he dives into a smoke bomb. The Paladin runs up trying to rebuke it. But Gloosh is going to hit him with a kidney shot. I think it might be over for the Paladin. As the Visitor just keep a fly cheap shot. Just to lock him down. Keep him locked in. That's going to be Gloosh taking him out with a Feral opener and training. Just getting all the bleed sunk into Gloosh as a Necrolord. And Gloosh, I don't know if he's going to be able to get out of there at all. This hit him with a cheap shot. Cloak of Shadows of Gloosh just trying to walk away hoping that those bleeds can fall off. He is carrying so you might be able to go for the Sipic Cup in order to get rid of the bleeds. It looks like maybe Gloosh was able to get himself a proper reset. Moonfire is flying out by Treaty and Gloosh unable to really get himself a proper reset. Shadow 7 past the Feral Bash and there's no way for him to get out. I think it might be over for the Rogue with a War Stub. Not getting much of an opportunity. Does it with a cheap shot as the fight is already queued up. Not much he can really do against the Feral Druid. Athaman going to be up next. Another Paladin with a Flesh Scout. Get a hit with the Bleeds and Treaty just going in for some dots. And I think maybe... Did he try to go for a root into Atha? He might have tried to go for a root. Flash cut behind the corner. Atham and no way for him to catch out fast enough. Not even going to go for a rebuke. Just get himself Seraphim. Trying to maybe make the most damage to blast out the Feral. Feral, does he have a trinket? Looks like just getting back up little by little. I'm not sure what he tricked before. But Feral is going to have Friends of Regen. Trying to get himself back up and topped off. Bear form does get himself the Swarm back on him with the Friends of Regen. Allow him to get quite a lot of healing back. As we were just hitting that 5 minute mark. Only 4% dampening right now, boys. As Athaman is looking for... 
to catch up back up to the pharaoh really as the pharaoh is looking for that full reset getting tossed out getting tossed out with judgments by Athur trying to deny the pharaoh any kind of resets for a moment big blades are getting set up Athur it does go for the eye for an eye reducing the physical damage he's taking but i don't know if blades count as physical damage big damage on Athur doesn't have to go for a blessing of protection removing all those blades completely Trady going in for a flesh cup Athur is going to go for flesh cup to his own it's going to be a cyclone out of Trady as Athamon is playing Maryland this time around. Does have that CC immunity for a second after going for full flesh cut. Son of Trady, going to be Barkskin. Is that going to be enough though? Athamon trying to see if he can blast out the kitty. Divine Storm. Oh, that is huge damage. He got those procs. He got the crits with a huge Divine Storm. He did as much damage as he could. And he actually blasted him out. So Jiro's going to be up next versus Atho. These two are having a bit of a rematch. Atherman throwing out judgments, trying to do whatever he can just to survive. Sejuro decides Atherman just in no real position. Does get for a slow onto Sejuro with the hand of freedom. At least Atherman can move, sort of, kind of, but no health whatsoever. He can't even stop just to heal himself. He needs holy power in order to get himself instant cast heals before dampening gets super high. Hides himself with a judgment. Oh, Sejuro with that reflect was perfect. Perfect reflect. With FC gonna be up next, trying to see if he can maybe blast on Sejuro. Last time Sejuro and FC played, Sejuro came in at FC with no cooldowns at all rather fc caught sejuro with no cities big bdb is down after the leg sweep looks like fc might have kind of leg swept then bdb'd then fist of fury without the cooldown so maybe that was a little bit of a misplay maybe that's not even meant to do it zuen joining in and likely going to be a full cooldown sejuro is trying to see if he can blast damage into fc quick fear on all the pets as you just might be able to get some freebie damage on fc before the pets get back to him Zuen leaping in, the images do close gap, and FC looking just to get out of there as fast as he can. Zajir just kind of waiting out there with the Zuen, FC recovering a little bit of health. We're not super high into dampening, so actually quite a bit of healing still allowed. FC still holding on to all his defenses versus Zajira, but a quick knockdown from the Night Fae, quick Karma as he gets super low. Zajira just trying to blast out Karma, gonna be the forward brew on top of it, reducing the damage as well as giving a shield for FC. Quick forward as he gets intercepted by Zajira with that charge. Gonna be a ring of peace and try to get himself a little bit of healing. Flash cut down, but that's gonna be Zajira trying to burst through that flash cut. Does do a significant damage to that thing. But FC is gonna be allowed to at least get himself a full reset behind the pillar. In cap onto the warrior does not it looks like he have a zerker's rage for that one drink it out of the leg soup as the images join in fist of fury as well as a big rise of sun kick big whirling dragon punch and sejura takes a bit of a damage leap it away from the monk just trying to wait out until the damage is gone at least he only has images to dps back there at least he can get a couple of bloodthirst off of those things double rage and blow just to get himself health recuperation rolling again he wants to get out of there full flesh goes up and fc should be able to get zuen coming back up short slowly but surely Maybe down to a 1 minute CD very, very soon. He's got images available. Could go for a big BDB setup versus Azura with just images. Lex Sweep does have a trick for it. is going to have to go fully defensive. Seeing Fist of Fury backs up out of there. He needs to get Bloodthirst though. So he doesn't need to go for healing. Try to get a knockdown onto FC. I don't think he's able to do it. Might be some short knockdowns onto FC. But that's about all he can muster for now. Quick charge to intercept FC as he's trying to get behind the pillar. Going to be FC charging back up with a jab. Does he have a big uh, BDB? Potentially, Sejiro slowed down, does go for a battle master drink and needs to get himself as much healing off of FC as he can. Trying to slow down the monk, Fist of Fury flying, parried, just has to wait it out for a moment. FC with the next next sweep could make it pretty bad for Sejiro, does knock him back for a second. Sejiro, can he intercept and get a charger around the corner, maybe a leap? He does need healing at this point. In cap, maybe Zerk can rage for it. Does he have it? Le Fear onto FC, no way for him to break out of it, but Sejiro does break his own fear. With damage needs to get as much healing as he can out of this monk whatever bloodthirst whatever impending victories you can muster he needs them right now getting into trap onto fc as he got defense rolling fc with that karma the seizure just burned through this karma damage does he just end the monk right here is he gonna go for it gonna be fist of fury slowing him down karma taking away at him does he get the execute damage oh he does end up taking him out as the lexi come out for the monk he was so clutch and darling just didn't give yeah, voices you're much of a chance just lanced him at the end <laughs> i think it's not the first time he did that too just blasted him out man <laughs> oh no <laughs> and darling getting hit with a storm bolt as katya katya megalol his name is katya megalol 
<laughs> That's actually so funny. When it's like all in Russian letters and you read it out, you're like, oh, I know the English version of that. Gotcha, they're gonna be up first. Gonna be an interrupt on the Deathborn, but Frostbolt should still be able to fly. Gotcha, gonna have to go for a Necrolord banner of his own. That's a lot of damage for Dolly to deal with. Wants to go for big defensses. Does get an over into Katya. There goes the avatar to break him out of that route. And Darling might just have to go for an ice block. Maybe a shatter and throw. Yep, shatter and throw. Looks like Darling's actually going to, I think, cancel that ice block before the shatter and throw connected. Darling got himself shields, but Katya able to burn through shields very quickly. Going to be that trinket, and that's going to be a poly. Katya did not have reflect available for that one. Erasing. Huge execute onto the mage and takes him out. Flash cut up, but that's going to be Arcane Trump. The flash cut immediately. Katya unable to get himself a proper shield. Or maybe sought for line of sight. Maybe he thought our he would give him an honor duel. Big chain harvest as Katya gets super low, and there's no way you're gonna be able to escape that. As our he just comes out with a full burst, cracking it all out. So Shira actually got two kills there, dude. This warrior just kept on trucking, just kept on rolling. He would not give up this duel to the monk ever. And I love that. I love seeing that, boys. Let's get him up and running, boys. Sentry, Scotty, Jesus, let's get you guys in here. Yeah.